Hello everybody, this is Sean, and welcome back to episode number 63 of our RimWorld Alpha 15 Fallville Let's Play. We're on Cassandra Extreme Permadeath with an outdoor tundra colony, and when we left off, our colony of Fallville continued to do well. I think I had said I was going to put somebody set up for surgery. I feel like I did that. That must be Vasilisa uh, resting. What's Vasilisa going to have done here? Oh, she's got that missing left toe. So she gets, she's getting a whole new bionic leg. Actually, I think it's because she does a lot of cleaning. She's also a badass. I wasn't, uh, I remember being kind of indifferent about bringing her in in the first place, but uh, now I'm glad I did. Well, let's see, it looks like we've mined out all that uranium there. I don't think I'm gonna bother to put another, uh, another mine on that one, but let's find out what's going on down here. And we can deconstruct that one. This was silver, so I do want to mine up the rest of this silver. Or actually, it's uh, pretty much always worth mining up the rest of it. I can come back for that later, but uranium, I mean, what am I going to do with it, really? Make a uranium statue? I guess I could make it into swords. Uh, or or glad gladiuses, I guess, in, uh, in this case. Let's go ahead and uh, move you down here. And what are you mining? You must be. Maybe you're silver. Yeah, so what's this one? Also silver? Eh. Who knows? But we can deconstruct this one, and we can deconstruct this one. Maybe this will be gold. I love gold. Contemporary. I'm hip. Ducka, ducka, ducka. Still never did build this farm. Always too many things to do. Look at all that silver. I have a lot of silver. Uh, I could start building silver chairs, actually. <laughs> that would be hilarious. I guess you guys can go in here and be part of the uh, fancy dining room. Looks like I have a couple of... Uh, other stools I never got around installing. Where's this one gonna go? Well, how about it goes in uh, Whiny McGreedy's room? How's he doing, by the way? Is that Andy that lives down there? Greg, Greg is the, Andy's the other greedy one, so I still had the right idea. A Little bit impressive. Andy? A little bit impressive. Okay, well, at least I don't have negatives. Plus three is fine with me, considering it was minus six, so that's a nine-point swing. Only had to put in, what, 10 hours worth of effort to get that? Uh, I, I know it wasn't 10 hours worth of solid effort, but I've been working on it for 10 hours. I was just watching, uh, today I uploaded episodes 42 and 43. And I believe episode 42 is when I first planned out this uh, expansion area. So that was 20, 20 episodes ago. Uh, the little bedroom I wanted to build here did not turn out. But this big bedroom did turn out pretty well. This one looks weird. But I can't have all straight, clean lines in Fallville. There's going to be a little bit of jagged edges here and there. So this must have been... Plasteel? No, that's right. I, I never did find out what this is. I could find out what it is. But we've got these other new ones up here that I'm building, don't we? Find out what they are. How about I uh, erase some of the plans up here where I've already mined the materials out. This one I've mined out. Or will have anyways. I guess I could probably remove those as well because we've built mines on top of them, so they may as well be mined out. Is there a, uh, that's right, there's one like in here in the middle of my hospital area, isn't there? Wouldn't be too hard to redesign the hospital to accommodate that, just have to push the wall in one. I'll mine the smaller ones elsewhere before I start disrupting my hospital. I wonder what these armchairs are worth. Cloth armchair, $360. I'll probably get like 150 something if I try to sell it. Excellent, though. All right, let's...
start uh, start getting rid of some of these lousy stools and whatnot. That one is normal. We're going to uninstall. Excellent. That's good. Superior. It's fine. Let me get rid of the good one and the good one. Great. I can probably start getting rid of sub superiors as well. So, excellent. Let's go ahead and put you... I guess nowhere is cleared up yet. Let's see what else we have. We have a good one. Masterwork. Fancy. Ah, oh, it's nice. Uh, well, I spoke too soon. Nice group of masterworks. I think four masterworks in there, though. Not bad. And uh, we did find out that the royal plasteel bed makes for an interesting bedroom, right? Even a superior royal plasteel bed. Great. But does it give a bonus? I guess, do non-greedy pawns get a bonus for that? You'd think that they would. That's Fly's bedroom. How's Fly feeling right now? Fly, interesting bedroom. Plus one. Good to know. And I have 147 gold, so I could build two more royal beds. Plasteel. end up blocking my uh, uh, horseshoe. Hmm. How about I make a, a high quality horseshoe pin suitable for my fancy colony? Like a plasteel horseshoe pin. Yeah, that'll be badass. Put one down here too, just for fun. Maybe over here as well. Hmm. I don't know why I still don't quite understand how the uh, horseshoe pin works properly <laughs> like I think it, it's five I think it's a three square by five square area anyways that should be enough of them do do horseshoe pins like have an inherent beauty or anything like that I don't know that I've ever looked at their uh, page not nope, just a market value entertainment strength factor hmm I wonder if plasteel is more entertaining than uh, than marble. I guess we're gonna find out. Is that a little skeleton down there or something? Oh, Gladius. Hmm. Wonder why it was. Oh, somebody probably dropped it. That's why it would have been forbidden. Shoddy sculptures. Give me a break. Probably should deconstruct the normal ones too. I like these little uh, daylilies in the garden. You know what, I should set some up down here too. I don't know that I've ever looked in to see what the pawns uh, working in the gardens, how they feel. Where are the daylilies? Yep, I'm sorry guys, you're gonna have to pull, pull up those potatoes. There we are, daylily. I should see how they feel about uh, working in the garden with the with those flowers. Kramer, how do you uh, what are your needs? You don't seem to get any um, nice, pleasant, beautiful, uh, beautiful atmosphere or whatever, beautiful room. Yeah, that's too bad. That's what I was hoping for. Ah, pleasant environment. Great. They do get that. Even with all those uh, ugly mushrooms up there. So maybe it's having the extra uh, extra wall uh, area helps. But uh, if that is the case, I can just make my garden areas one, or I guess two squares bigger. Or two squares bigger on each end even. I could also plant dandelions, uh, or I mean, uh, 
flowers to run in the middle of all these trees as well. So that would be something maybe to do between between episodes. How does that sound? Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, plan ahead to expand this out. So we're going to go out one on this way, and we're going to go out two on that one, since I've already laid one of those walls. There we go. Just remove all that. Although, actually, I probably don't want to remove all that because I just set up an extra layer for flowers. So let's keep the indication in there how that's going to work. And then once I get the lights and the walls and everything else set up, I can worry about that. But am I going to try that down uh, with these ones as well? I suppose I will. I actually would want to go one more down here, don't I? Right. And we'll remove like that. Perfect. And down here as well. Very exciting. Exciting RimWorld action there. I still have not mined out the uh, supports that I'd set up in here. Looks like I need to get my manual support in there. Mine that out. Great. Does that mean I can eliminate this wall here? I think it does. So let's uh, let's get a few more. few more of these set up. I guess that one's already there, so I don't need to worry about that. Now I can go ahead and just mine this whole mine this whole section out. Looks like that's a wall right there too. <laughs> Needs warm clothes. Hmm. That's unexpected. Probably don't have any parkas set up, but it would be nice if I could have more. Wow. Let's just have everybody make a duster then. Or two. But let's uh, turn off cloth. That's not an option anymore. I don't need to make cloth clothing. I think, uh, I think we can manage without that. No cloth, thank you. And one last time, we're gonna do make a duster and we're gonna click plus one and we're gonna do details and then click on the cloth check mark and now we're all set. And nobody's gonna make any of those things. How am I doing on uh, materials? Do I have it, uh, enough non-cloth to do these things? Oh, I've got plenty of muffalo leather. Yeah, I, I do. What does it take 135 or something to do a uh, do a duster? 80. Oh, Pfft. easy. I I guess I should do like uh, the different kind. Yeah, like alpaca wool. Uh, it's really good for. Uh, oh, insulates no better than cloth. Well, I didn't know that. Devil strand is good for fighting because it provides superior sharp protection. That's a boom rat leather. Lots of boom rat leather. There you go. Normal devil strand cowboy hat and a normal cloth cowboy hat. So the devil strand, actually, let's look at, do I have both in superior varieties? I don't. So let's just look at normal. 14.4% sharp protection. Um, that's really the main thing I want to look at is the sharp protection. So 14% sharp protection and the normal one has no 3% uh, sharp protection. So it's pretty good for your head. Much stronger uh, protection against bullets, basically. Um, what does a uh, what does a helmet provide, I wonder? Oh, I, got, I have helmets right here. What would like a normal helmet provide? I guess let's, let's compare good ones then. 27% sharp protection. So the cowboy hat provides half the sharp protection of a uh, of a helmet. Do those provide any heat protection? They 
don't. I love how it's the 10th of summer and it's already warming me about um, about the cold. It's in these cargo pods. Why, a bunch of uh, alpaca hide. Sure, I guess. And yeah, some rice landed there earlier for any eagle-eyed viewers who are paying a lot of attention. Uh, I uh, un unfroze that rice between episodes. Hmm. Did not see the skeleton of Abe down here, though. Spooky. Spooky Skellington. I'm going to guess that that steel is all drilled out to deconstruct. And you can deconstruct as well. I think I might want to build another uh, another uh, drill there. Uh, but I'm not going to run short of steel anytime soon. What did we end up with over here? Uranium. Well, so I'll be building the sword before too long. I like that we got two silver mines going, though. That's pretty nice. I don't see any mining areas over here. Did I uh, map them out? I'm going to guess I didn't. There's no way there's none in this whole area. I must have stuck over here because I, uh, I knew these would keep me busy for a while. So I'm pretty sure these are going to be plasteel, which I don't really need to be uh, mining any more of. I have plenty of it, but I do got this little one there. I'm going to pop that one open and see what's in it. Should run some power over there as well, since if I'm going to have that uh, machine there that requires energy, it's usually good to have power for those circumstances. Fast forward. Let's try it at a speed that's worth watching. Well, everybody seems to be in a pretty good mood, considering uh, we lost that uh, prisoner, what, five days ago now? So, or no, three days ago now? Yeah, I, th I thought there was actually five days remaining on there uh, being unhappy, so that's pretty good. Oh, Vasilisa, you're a prostophobe. Uh, how did I not notice that? I, uh, you know, for the same reason that I never notice that, because I always forget to check. Well, that is really too bad. Because now, you got to risk your life again. Just to, And do I have a bionic leg? I, hopefully, I, or a prosthetic leg? Hopefully I do. All right. Well, that's too bad. That's going to slow Vasilisa down. She had a perfectly good leg. <laughs> oh, shame on me. That is the um, price of hubris, I guess. You guys, I have to be ashamed that you guys are watching me make such a classic mistake. It's like it's my first time playing this game or something. Just do not pay enough attention. Yep, sorry Vasilisa. I'm, uh, I'm not going to, uh, I'm just going to like, not press my luck on uh, uh, any potential uh, uh, price to pay for thinking that I'm uh, better than this game. Actually, all my miners are pretty busy running those drills, so I don't need to give them everyday mining uh, responsibilities. I still have uh, specific builders, that's right. They're both uh, holding up their quality. Oh, yeah. How did these beds come out? Superior. Good. Well, a good uh, royal bed is better than a excellent wooden bed. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, switch you out anyways. Might take a little while. There we go. And we're going to install you in there. That leaves us with 47 gold. Well, probably should uh, call for another trader to come by. Where you got Flace? Why don't you call for a... Uh, who's our friend? Cricket, come here. Call for those guys. Where'd you go? 
Ask for a bulk goods trader. Bulk goods trader, please. Thank you very much. We'll see you soon. I guess I could uh, request a uh, slaver. There's a chance that they'll have bionics. All right. Well, and that didn't didn't give me any chance to see who is the second most deserving person to get a uh, to get a bionic leg. I really want to put it on like a hauler, um, which is why Vasilisa got it. She is really my only purely dedicated hauler. I guess Andy, but Andy is already bioniced up in a couple of other ways. Um, Philly, Philly gets around. Oh, how about Serenity? Serenity is a dedicated hauler and cleaner. Has a prosthetic leg. Well, you deserve a bionic leg. You're not a uh, prostophobe, are you? You're the one who should have got it in the first place. So I guess that is Kismet. Is that the right, uh, right way to put that? Siege! I love sieges! Yay! Alright, Mitch is Greg's son, so hopefully he is not the one who's going to be our primary target. Let's see what they have in this siege. Well, it looks like a bunch of guys with no weapons. So, Mitch was the son here. Mitch is uh, uh, carrying around a uh, melee weapon, so he's probably safe. So we've got a pistol, survival rifle... Charge rifle. Sniper rifle. And that's Carlotta has a sniper rifle. All right. So Carlotta is going to be our first target. How's, how are our uh, snipers doing? Kramer's in good shape. Waters is in good shape. Hopi. Why don't you grab something to eat, Hopi? Is that it? Do I have, I uh, probably have more sniper rifles too. That's an AK. Nothing over here, that one's bad. How about this one? Normal, 90%. Right, who's my best second shot? F 14, well I'm gonna say that's you, Flace. Why don't you go ahead and pick, this, pick up the sniper rifle? And how are your needs? Looks like you're in good shape. All right, let's, uh, we're gonna draft all four of you guys once you grab that rifle there, shoot. We'll send you down this way, and where are they setting up camp? They're setting up camp down here, and there's the turrets. What kind of cover do I have? Can have one of them go here, I guess. The other one's over here there. I could have them all be together. There's really no point in breaking them up. I never can remember what the range is on a sniper rifle. I think it's 48. That can't be right. Another cargo pod. Let's see. Shoe. Wow, that is really far. Ah, for crying out loud. I think uh, it's my first time playing. All right, so it went from here to there. 46 it was not too far off. So we need to be 46 squares away from here. Oh, great. It's going to work out real well. Shoe, why don't you set up camp there? Kramer, go there. Waters, right there. Hopi, there please. Shoot. Now, who is the one carrying the sniper down here? Carlotta? Oh, look at that, good memory. You're gonna aim at Carlotta. Oh, Carlotta is not gonna take it standing, sitting down, standing idly by, you know what I mean. Carlotta's going to fight back. Not for long, though. 
Wow, they've already got at least one of those turrets operating. Both of them are built. Wow, that's crazy. All right, somebody had a survival rifle as well. Is that uh, Lucy? So let's go ahead and take Lucy out while we're down here. Let's see if I can remember how the buttons work. There we go. But I need to shoot those uh, shoot those mortars. Oh, that's right. I, pawns will fight that. That's Lisa. You're already going to fight it. Yeah, good. Nice shot, you. Well, I don't really need to worry about killing you, do I? Because you are not shooting back. So let's just blow up these turrets. One thing that's fun to do is just shoot at the guys who are operating the turrets because they're just sitting ducks and they just stand there like dummies. Uh, but I like to blow up the turrets because then it initiates the raid, gets these things over with quickly. Wow, that was unfortunate. Knocked up my power, too. Did it do any uh, permanent damage? Looks like oh, redundancies for the win. Oh, that reminds me. I saw that earlier. One little square is missing. So I need to expand that out a little more, too. I don't know where that other shell landed. Oh, good. I blew that one up. Let's blow this one up. Too bad I missed it. Nice fire started up. Ah, this one's going to go. It's almost blown up already. All right. Yeah, of course you're assaulting the colony. We'll see if you can even make it up here. Not bad. One, two, three, four, five. Five dead already, plus uh, Carlotta is down there bleeding out. So basically six dead. Where are these guys going? Oh, those are my guys. <laughs> so <laughs> they're, they're going inside the base. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and restrict or uh, draft everybody up. Get them all up here. I guess uh, Reiner is going to flick that switch first, though. And then these guys should change their direction as soon as we get inside the base. Come in through the traditional entryway. Place, you know where to go. Waters, what the? Take the long way home. Yeah, everybody wants to everybody wants to fight now. Of course they're fleeing. Uh, who can blame them? Let's see if we can manage to trace it chase any of them down here. Probably not. Nope, we're not going to be able to. Let's just undraft everybody. Go back to normal business, everyone. Gonna flick that switch as well. Flick. Now, uh, one of the redditors was telling me about Go Juice, or no, not redditors. The comments. Yeah, hey, thanks to uh, the one guy who's leaving comments on my videos. I appreciate that. It's been fun talking to you. And uh, yeah, you left me that note about Go Juice, and I want to uh, see if I can find some so I can check out the properties on that. And uh, if you are right about it uh, not being addictive, if you don't use it more than once every three days, uh, I've got some great ideas on how I can start using that. Because, uh, yeah, basically I could just put everybody on a regiment of one every three days, <laughs> or even one every four days just to be safe, and uh, just increase productivity r across the board. The, I guess the danger of having that around is with uh, my chemical... Uh, chemical interest ponds, and I definitely have quite a few of those. And you can't manufacture go juice, you have to buy it. I believe, 
I haven't actually gotten that far. Oh, look at that. It's the end of the episode. Well, I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, enjoyed our little, uh, our little quick, quick little siege down there. That was pretty fun. And um, yeah, uh, we will be back with the next episode uh, very shortly, as far as I'm concerned, and probably even more quickly, as far as you're concerned. Uh, if you enjoyed this episode, click the like button below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, you should subscribe. Uh, leave some comments below and I'll talk with you and maybe shout you out 20 episodes from now like I just did to Laser Explosion, I think is what that guy's name was. Thanks for watching Laser Explosion and everybody else too. See you next time. Bye.